Let's learn how to make face-to-face web-based phone calls using Skype in five minutes or less. And Skype is located at Skype.com and once you go to Skype you will download it to your computer or you can have a technician download it to your classroom computer and you can make face-to-face -face phone calls with other teachers, other administrators, uh, or what's really cool, other students from anywhere in the world. Now I'm on my Skype page. I've downloaded Skype and I have um, created a username and a password and all and I am in my Skype on my computer, although this is web-based still. Now if I want to make a call, uh, you see a call button here and what I would do is come over to contacts and click on contacts and, and I can do that. And I'm ready to go and literally if the other person is on you will be facing that person on the computer in uh, a few seconds. Um, when you get started you will want to come up to tools and come down to options and uh, this is really where you want to begin with Skype especially as a teacher so there's a lot of important settings that you want to uh, work on so uh, I would come up to general and, and, and just take a look at some of these things and uh, you'll see that they're pretty easy to get through audio settings you will want to come into audio and you can see that I am testing right now I am actually using a headset and uh, this is showing me how my volume is working and I and I'm you know in a pretty good place here I can change that if I want to and uh, a few other things in there uh, video settings I'm gonna come into your video settings and there I am so as you see with Skype you get your uh, uh, your video settings pop you right up as long as you've got your webcam on and I've got a built-in webcam so I can come in here and I can uh, change the settings if I want to uh, I can put down here uh, show that I have video to people on my contact list or other people uh, so there's some things you can do with that let's get out of here so we don't have to see me anymore and um, but another thing let's go back to tools and options and this is a really important one for teachers I'm gonna go down to privacy and uh, you're gonna wanna come into your privacy settings and um, take a look at uh, a, a few different things allow anyone to contact me only allow people in my contact list to contact me and for a teacher I think this is gonna be really important because uh, I've heard some horror stories about people having Skype turned on in their classroom and then people that they don't know suddenly calling them and if, it, if it's on and your volumes turned up the next thing you know someone can be talking to you so you want to be careful about that so if you're gonna make a, a call maybe to another teacher with some students and have your students speak to each other and that is really what you want to do on Skype then you probably want to get set up with that person and put them in as a contact and, and I'm gonna do that uh, as you can see over here so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that and I would come in over here to new contacts and I would just click on there I can put a group or I can just say new contact and uh, I would put that person in now you can find people in here uh, Skype has a really nice search engine similar to a Google where you can type in names and find them on there and and send them messages telling them you're on Skype and that you'd like to have them be on with you and they approve you uh, like other social media kinda like maybe a Twitter or Facebook and they have to approve you so that you two can communicate but then uh, again the great thing is you will be able to see their face you'll be able to talk to them back and forth and I know teachers who use Skype to uh, call other teachers and have their students converse uh, let's say you have an interactive whiteboard uh, you can put your webcam on top of your whiteboard and you can have um, classrooms literally looking at each other and talking uh, it takes a lot of coaching a lot of work but uh, I've heard stories of, of uh, students communicating with students in other countries doing a great social studies activity kind of learning about other cultures uh, what you can do is really unlimited so remember you add some people uh, after you've downloaded Skype uh, make some calls uh, you can do test calls up here to uh, you can actually call Skype to test your system and Skype talking to me I'm gonna go ahead and end that um, so uh, you'll get comfortable once you're in here use your toolbar at the top and uh, you'll enjoy it and that is Skype in five minutes or less